Hello everyone, and welcome to the Futures Lab. So I'm going to show you how to make a torch that looks a bit like this. You can see it's got this soft edge and it sort of flickers as well. That makes it look quite natural. At the moment, I have it just following my mouse pointer, but you can program it to do anything that you like. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So first thing that we need to do is go to the bottom right corner and click on Paint a Sprite. Now we need to get, select the Box Tool we're going to set the fill as entirely black and then we're going to use this particular tool here which allows us to have two different shades of color and there's a sort of blurry circle inside our box. Now what we're going to do is select this white and we're going to change that to this which is actually nothing see-through transparent. So put that there and you'll notice that this box is the wrong way round. We want the emptiness to be on the inside. So we need to click this swap button here. Once we've done that, this looks pretty good. Now we don't want a very large box. We want it to be maybe 90 uh, or maybe 100 pixels wide, although you can change this later. And also we want it to be perfectly square. So hold down shift on your keyboard and then you'll notice that now your box is always perfectly square and not a rectangle. Now drag this until it goes into the center. And then in all of the drawing space around this box, you need to put in entirely solid black boxes. So select this fill here, go back to entirely solid and change this all the way to black. Then we need to make some more boxes. And then I'm going to just zoom in, use this tool here, and just drag them using these little blue dots. But they're nice and close. We don't want a gap, and we don't want too much overlap. OK, that looks pretty good. Let's head to the code, shall we? So first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Events and get out when green flag clicked. Then go to control and get out forever. So in the meantime, we're just going to make this follow our mouse pointer. So go to the blue category motion and get out, go to random position, and then you change this to mouse pointer. Let's see what that looks like so far. Click the green flag. You'll notice that if we go to the edge of the screen, the darkness runs out. So that's a problem that we need to fix. We need to make this sprite a lot larger. So go to looks and get out set size to 100%, put that there. Now we want this to be about 250%. Now hit the green flag and watch very carefully what size this becomes. It's actually shrunk down, it's become smaller. It's not 250%, it's actually 75%. So this is even worse. And this is because Scratch doesn't like to make very large sprites even larger. Um, this costume is really big. It's 880 by 717 pixels. So when you try and make this much larger, Scratch is like, oh, that's not going to fit in your screen. I'm going to shrink that down a bit for you. We need a way to prevent this from happening. So go to Costumes and click on paint a new costume right here. We're going to call this costume small and this costume big. Now the small costume you'll notice is only two by two pixels. So now let's head back to the code. So here's a clever workaround for that problem where Scratch automatically reduces the size of large costumes. If we get out a switch costume to small and put it above our set size and then get out a switch costume to and then change this to big and put it afterwards, what happens is first it changes the costume into the small costume and then it resets the size and Scratch won't automatically shrink it down because the small costume is not too big to set off this auto shrinking feature. And then once we have made Scratch set at the size to 250, we just switch the costume back to big. So let's see what that looks like. 
Okay, that looks a lot better. Now you can change this percentage here if you want this torch light to be a different size. You can also just go to the costume and change the size in the costume if you like. Now one final thing that we need to do is add in that flickering effect and it's a really simple way of doing it. We're going to go to operators and get out pick random 1 to 10 and put that over our set size. But then we need to change this first part of the pick random into 240 and the second to 250%. And now you can see this size is always slightly different between 240% and 250% and it creates this cool flickering effect. Now there's one more thing we should probably do. You'll notice if we add in a new sprite, that, that sprite will actually be on top of the torch and the darkness. So in the code for our torch, we should probably go to looks and get out a go to front layer. And that way we always know that the other sprites will be underneath the darkness and the torch when we add them, just like this. And remember, it doesn't always have to go to the mouse pointer. If in your game you control a character and move them around, you could make it follow them instead. One last little trick is if you're trying to move your characters around in your scratch game and the torch is always getting in the way like this, don't forget you can always hide it here. And you can even include a show underneath the start code to make sure that when you start your game, your torch is always back. Subscribe and ring the bell if you want more Scratch tutorials like this one. Let me know in the comments what you plan on making with this torch mechanic. And aside from that, stay awesome, be cool to each other, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.